weights. A very relaxed Floyd Mayweather, and there's the referee, Fred Steinwinder the third. Touch gloves come out by. There's Royal and Al, all the referees tonight, wearing a ribbon in honor of one of their comrades. Terry Wood, who was a very fine referee and official here, passed away this week, uh, had a heart attack. It was tragic. 50-year-old, great guy, and um, they counted the bell, uh, 10 bells for him earlier in the evening and a uh, sign of respect from the other officials. Our condolences to the Wood family. He was a gentleman. Very nice man, and... Uh, it's really a tragedy. Take a look at the knockout ratio. Mayweather, 83%. Four of those 10 knockouts have come in the first round, seven in the first two rounds. Arroyo has six first-round knockouts. He has one knockout loss. Both of these men have Olympic experience. Arroyo, a member of the Puerto Rican Olympic team in 1988, the team that went to the Seoul Olympic Games. And, you know, we just saw Floyd Mayweather crank up the double left hook against the Royal. He's a pure puncher, Floyd Mayweather. He is a guy who can knock you out, and he feels that way. And in that sense, he reminds me a lot of Oscar De La Hoya, in that when De La Hoya became a pro, he really used his power well, and that's what Mayweather is doing. We saw Mayweather make his pro debut on ESPN back in October of 1996. Second round knockout against Roberto Apodaca. Back up, back. Oh, oh, oh. In fact, his first rebound to on ESPN. Next up, referee steps in and takes care of things. He's fought in Biloxi once before as Floyd. That came in July of this year. Fifth round TKO against Jesus Chavez. And a little bad blood. Heads come together. Mayweather barely touching the gloves and then diving in. Freddie Steinwinder already has his hands full here. So, Fox thickens here in round one. Arroyo's the kind of fighter who has kind of an awkward style, and a combination of his style and the way Mayweather is grabbing him behind the head is creating that situation of the heads bouncing back together. But see, that's what Floyd Mayweather can do. He steps back and says, okay, I don't want to stand the inside, so what am I going to do? I'm going to use my jab, stand the outside. Look at him. Very smart. You won't see most young fighters immediately make that adjustment. He did. Now, you know who he reminds me a little bit of? Oh, look at him. He's, he's blowing kisses. He's not going to redeem himself to many fans with that. And we saw him hot dog in his first couple of pro bouts. I mean, and he's backed it up. Well, well that, I think in this case, some of that came from the fact that there was rough stuff early in the bout. Reminds me a little bit of a young Melvin Taylor. Yeah, that's a good, very good analogy. Who, of course, was the featherweight and then a junior lightweight. And uh, Arroyo says, "You may blow kisses, but I can throw a right hand in earnest." And he landed one. Final seconds of round number one. Hector Arroyo and Floyd Mayweather don't like each other. To the right eye of Hector Arroyo. We begin round number two. The scheduled ten round junior lightweight bout. Bob Papa. Al Bernstein welcome you back to Biloxi, Mississippi. The Grand Casino numbers in round one. But in a rugged round, uh, Mayweather ended up landing only 29% of his punches, but that was enough to have the edge of a royal. He was busier. You know, he, uh, Mayweather sparred with a middleweight, Ray Collins, and also with Kennedy McKinney, uh, who, of course, just had that big win over Junior Jones out in Las Vegas. Mayweather, born and raised in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I want to get good sparring and a lot of competition in the gym, so he moved to Las Vegas. And he has thrived out there. A little lead right hand from Mayweather. Now, one thing uh, his uncles mentioned, Roger and Jeff, especially Jeff, he says, Floyd must use his jab there. He has a tremendous jab, but maybe it's coming a little easy for him. He's throwing those lead rights too much. It's really a very good observation. And, and sometimes he'll get in there and just throw left hooks and battle with the guy. When he jabs his way in, he's effective. And there you see, he, he was able to throw that double left hook and get in, so maybe he didn't think he needed the jab. But he's picking up the beat here in round two, and Arroyo's showing you that he's a skilled veteran. 
blocking those left hooks from Mayweather. And I think you can tell already the Royals prepared for this guy. Both mentally and physically. And she's firing back on Mayweather. Even though he lost the first round, toward the end of that round, he was nailing it with some right hand. The Royals fought on October the 18th in Florida. First round TKO against Jaime Abrica. You know, one thing you have to know about Mayweather, fans tuning in might be saying, well, maybe he's just another overhyped Olympian. 12-0, 10 knockouts, but in his last three bouts against Luis Leja, Philip Garcia, and Angelo Nunez, those three went into those bouts with a combined record of 51 wins and 28 knockouts. Nice right uppercut by Mayweather, but you see Arroyo is going after him. Hector Arroyo is making the kind of fight he needs to make to be in this fight. Ten seconds to go in round two. Mayweather putting his punches together. Arroyo standing right there. Things heating up in Biloxi. Hector Arroyo has discovered something. If he stays on the inside, see, he can get some things done against Mayweather even though he still had some trouble in that last round. In this posture, he's able to use his long arms and his crafty style to land a little bit and not get hit with the big punches by Mayweather. Round three underway. Take a look at the numbers through two rounds. Mayweather with an edge, but not an enormous edge. And you know, Roger Mayweather was talking to us about Arroyo, and he really made a very good observation. He said, when you look at him, he looks like he's probably very much a classic boxer, but he isn't. And it's true. He's really more of a kind of an awkward, brawling type of fighter who doesn't jab, doesn't stay on the outside and do things a boxer does. He's at his best when he's brawling. He was one fight away from a world championship. He was ranked number one by the WBA. Um, and he lost to Manuel Gomez, did Arroyo, in a fight he was winning every round, got tired, got knocked out, and that dashed his title hope. There's Roger Mayweather, two-time world champion, uncle of Floyd, who uh, tutors him in boxing. You heard it! You heard it with the rope! You want to see more of that left hook? He's got a good one. You know, Floyd Mayweather has so much confidence and so much ability that he is the kind of guy, though, that will drop his hands, leave his head in a vulnerable position, and only time will tell whether really experienced fighters like a Gennaro Hernandez, who is no doubt looking in on this just to see what a possible future opponent might look like. He may have to make sure that he tucks that head in and protects it against a fighter like Hernandez. Well, the great ones do it when they're young and they can take it to the next level. The pretenders get their block knocked off. <laughs> a very good comment and it's absolutely true. Working the body, Mayweather does not forget to do that. One of the signs of the maturity that we pointed out he has beyond his 20 years. for that right hand. Bring it up, bring it up. That one glanced off the head of Mayweather. Hector's having a hard time figuring out what will work offensively. On the seconds of round three, and they scheduled ten rounder between Floyd Mayweather and Hector Arroyo. Hope you enjoy the action on the deuce. Even though Arroyo had had some success on the inside, that's how to stop that success. Look at a nice combination including the uppercut by May West. Round number four underway. You get a look at the theater of the Grand Casino in Biloxi. Beautiful place. Out right of the Gulf of Mexico. We have not been to Biloxi in quite a while. I'll tell you, all up and down this uh, strip, there are some very nice hotels. They've done a lot in this area. That's for sure. Mayweather um, in round three with the edge of eight punches. 
They were the giving away a bunch of different angles. You know, this is all great, but you know what Floyd's doing in a lot of these cases? He's slapping with a lot of his punches. And two, two punches might be better than five if you're going to slap with the last three. Al has it a shutout. I feel like Mayweather has won each.